Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. It's here! It's here! It's finally here! My first big headline! Hey, Scoop! Scoop! Hey, Scoop! Look what I got! Hey, look what's what all I the got. noise? What's all the noise? Oh, look at that, a newspaper. That's amazing. <laughs> Very funny. Read it out loud. <laughs> the King City Herald. You know what I mean. Come on, stop teasing me. Read the headline and the name out loud. Fantastic Fire Has Fabulous Finish by Casey Carter. I'll read it again. <laughs> by Casey Carter. Casey Carter. That's right. Casey Carter, journalist. Oh, man. This is the greatest day of my life. My name's finally in print. You should have been at that fire scoop. Oh, it was a regular three alarm blaze. There was flames everywhere and at just the right moment a superhero swooped in and God sent a storm that put out the fire. Oh, you should have been there, scoop. I was. Oh, you were? Well, I, I didn't see you. Where were you? I mean, I was there in spirit, kid. Oh. Hey, I gotta get going. I got a story to cover. Okay, we'll see you, scoop. Help, help, help! Somebody help me, please! Anyone oh, help hey, me! Hey, hey, what's the matter, kid? It's my doggy. He's missing. Oh, hot! Dog, another big story. All right, very slowly. Can you describe the victim? He looks like. He looks like. He looks like. He looks like. A dog. A dog. Okay. Well, well, well can you be more specific? He's hairy. Okay, he's hairy. Okay, okay, he's hairy. Has four legs. Four legs. Four legs. Yes. And. And. A wet nose. A wet nose. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, when did you last see your dog? Right before. Okay, right, right before. Right before. Right before. Right before I lost him. You're not going to make this easy, are you? Never fear, scripture guy is here. Scripture guy? Scripture guy? I will preserve your purloined puppy. What? I'll save the dog. Oh, oh here he is. Whoa. Put out your arms, kid. Doggy! Scripture guy, you're the bee's knees. It's all in a day's work for Scripture guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you're a real hero, Scripture guy. <laughs> well, I never claimed to be super. I'm just an ordinary guy doing extraordinary things for the glory of God. Kind of like Gideon. Gideon? Who, who's Gideon? Oh, Gideon was an Israelite in the Bible. Oh. Yes, and God used him, a very simple man to do an extraordinary thing. Here, let me get out the good news and I'll show you. Okay. Good news. Good news. Jeepers. Here we are. The Bible says the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Oh, so Gideon was mighty. Well, Gideon didn't think so. He asked for a sign proving that God was with him. Oh, well, well golly gee, Scripture guy, what kind, of, what kind of sign was he looking for? Well, the sign was for God to wet a, a fleece, wet to soak fleece. it completely with dew while the ground around it stayed completely dry. Huh. And when God gave him that sign and another one, then finally Gideon believed God's promise to use him to save Israel from the Midianites. Oh, midnight? That's kind of late for a battle, don't you think? Not midnight. Midianites. Oh, Midianites. Israel had more than 30,000 soldiers, and their enemies from the land of Midian wanted to wipe all of them out. Well, Israel could have defeated them easily. They had 30,000 soldiers. God knew that people might say that. And so the Lord said to Gideon, you have too many men for me to deliver Midian into their hands in order that Israel may not boast against me that her own strength saved her. God told Gideon that if any man was afraid, he should send him home. Well, are you kidding? I bet half of them were scared. Actually, it was two-thirds. Oh, two Over 22,000 men went home that day. Oh, well, that, that still left Israel with close to 10,000 men. You're right. But God wanted an even smaller army. So he told Gideon when they got to the river to only choose the men who scooped up the water and drank carefully rather than those who kneeled down and lapped it up like a dog. That's who God chose? 
Yes, that's who God chose. Huh. All 300 of them. You got to be kidding. You can't, you can't defeat an entire army with just 300 men. No, you can't. But God can. Well, how did he do it? How did God do it? Oh, you'll never believe it, kid. All right. Now, God told Gideon to give each man a trumpet, a jar, and a torch. And at just the right moment, it was late at night, they all blew the trumpets, smashed the jar, and raised the torches. And all of the Midianites ran away in fear. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> I bet everybody gave God the credit. They sure did. Oh, and just like Gideon, whenever I fight an enemy, I know it's God who gives me the victory. That's a signal for distress. If my ears don't deceive me, there is a bank robbery going on uptown at this very moment. This is a job for scripture guy. I give everything to honor my king. Oh, gee whiz. He's such a godly hero. I'm so glad to know him. Oh, gee, that's, that's Scoop's phone. Maybe I should answer Hello? What's that? Say that again. There's a big accident downtown? Okay, thanks. I'll give Scoop the message. Well, well gee, kids, I, I don't know what to do. I, I should go uptown and report that bank robbery, but those people downtown need a hero to save them. Only God can give us the victory. And I know just who God is calling. Wait right here, kids, one second. <laughs> I give everything to honor my king. I'm coming. I'm going to save you guys. <laughs> <laughs>